Sure. I uh, started at KU as a graphic design uh, major. Uh, that lasted a semester. I just decided that it wasn't for me. I enjoyed it as more of a hobby than I did an actual uh, career path. So I kind of uh, took a little break from school and, and joined the full-time workforce, uh, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, I got some jobs that really made me decide that I wanted to go back to school and find a passion that I, I really enjoyed because uh, the jobs I had, I was working long hours and just was not having fun doing it. Uh, so I kind of looked around and figured out that the sport management path was definitely uh, something I wanted to try out, just being an athlete in high school and stuff, and uh, it worked out for the best. Sure, yeah, I do everything uh, website-wise, like press releases, uh, social media stuff, manage uh, player bios online, schedules, uh, things like that, uh, stats. Uh, so a, a typical week for me, I usually come in on Monday and do some player of the week nominations, uh, catch up on some emails from over the weekend that I may have missed. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm usually kind of prepping game notes, putting out like preview stories on the website for whatever sports we have uh, coming up for the weekend. Uh, game days, uh, at a small school like UMKC, kind of uh, just prep the, the area. We set up like the live stream for our video content. Uh, get our radio equipment ready to go, set up our stat computers, and then uh, in-game, we're doing stats, social media, uh, graphics, stuff like that. And uh, post-game, we do releases, update the schedule online, email that out, and, and everything like that. And during the week, we try to, if we have like a good story, we'll try to push it to some of our, uh, our uh, media members, like in Kansas City with the Kansas City Star, just anything that we can try to get some content going for the school, so. I just, I really like being around the athletes and being able to tell their stories. You know, there's some really unique individuals on all of the teams and, and just learning about them and, and what brought them to, to whatever school they're at. I mean, there's always a story somewhere, whether it's the way they're raised or stuff like that. So just learning their stories and then, and then uh, trying to either tell it myself or get it to a media member that can, can tell it for us. Yeah, you know, I think people connect with people. So we're trying to focus more or less on our, uh, our post-game stories of the actual stats and kind of just tell a story about um, how a certain individual performed. And, you know, really press releases post-game is, is kind of, I feel like it's kind of uh, almost getting to the point where it's not really being seen or heard as much as it used to be and now it's more uh, content during the week and trying to get people to come to games by learning about a player that had a big game before is struggling with an injury or you know just uh, or is doing something in the community to, to really connect the fans to the player and what make them come and want to watch and uh, and you know support their team uh, some of the funnest stuff I've been able to do is uh, when I was at KU um, just getting to tell stories like I got to sit down with an interview with Gail Sayers and, and talk to him and tell his story of why he chose KU at the time uh, when he was going to school and what it meant to he, him to be an alumni and just being able to tell people stories like that I think is awesome. Yeah, uh, I think the biggest uh, thing for us like actually just yesterday with Sporting KC being in the playoffs I created a little social media graphic that just said congratulations and good luck in the playoffs and that was by far the, the biggest uh, success we've seen on any social media posts that we've had in a long time uh, I just think that being able to connect the fans with one fan base to another just really helps and just and getting them to see that we support each other in the Kansas City area is good for us Oh man, tons of great memories in Lawrence. Uh, I, first off, I enjoyed all of the classes in sport management. I, I appreciate everything that all of the professors did for me and putting me in situations to be able to succeed in my student uh, internship uh, with KU Athletics and uh, just being around everybody in the class. I, I made some really good friends there and people I still keep in contact with and, and to this day a lot of them uh, work in the Kansas City area in sports and so just have that connection both personally and business wise it's really great to have. 
you got to really want to do what you're doing. You have to love your job because there's a lot of hours put in. And if you just put in, if you show that you're committed, uh, I think it's going to go a long way. It's just hard work and commitment and showing that you aren't afraid to take on big tasks and uh, try to succeed as well as you can in those. Oh, man. <laughs> He's got a lot of good ones, but some of the stories about uh, him and going on runs with Roy Williams were pretty funny. Uh, just, I don't know, man. He's He has a ton of great stories, so uh, I don't think I can pick just one.